are you? It's awesome to see you. Today's session is so near and dear to me and it's one of those essential practices that I'm so happy to share with you. It supports my body and your body and our body together. Is there anything more important? Thank you for being here. Thank you for your wonderful comments, responses, subscriptions. Things are growing and developing here in the body, which is this space, this channel. And I'm so grateful you're here and that this is happening. Let's begin like we always do in all my spaces. By striking a wooden match, could anything be cuter? There's the strike pad. Tiny things are irresistible to me. As I strike this wooden match, I light our candle to alert our spirit guides. And that's within us. We are spirit and spirit is us that we are present, we're open, we're listening. We're ready to receive the messages that are meant for us because they're us, they're within us. Gaze upon this firelight and set your intention for our time together, for our spiritual session and FYI, I do book one-on-one -on -one sessions, so you can look in my about page here on my channel and pop over and see a 15-minute, 30-minute, or one-hour session. I open them up one month at a time, so it helps me keep it together. So at the beginning of the month, I create spaces for one-on-one -on -one if you need a more individual support. Our little flame here in the middle of my house <laughs> is so important to me. It's a six-hour candle service. It supports so many things. After our session is done here, after I'm done recording, I take this flame and burn it on my altar for everybody that subscribes to the channel. So boop that button and hit the bell for notifications. So many neat things are coming up. I just want to let you know that in May I have a theme of flowers and we'll begin that celebration on the new moon. I have a live stream this new moon with wonderful Casey Zabala who is the founder and the head witch over at Modern Witches Confluence and they're on YouTube now, rocking it, working their way to a thousand subscribers. Woot. So I will be on each new moon in 2022 live streaming here at Angela Mary Magic on my channel. And we will be talking about flower rituals. Speaking of, we will cleanse the space with my atmosphere mist. This is resist mist. We need that protection. The themes that we're working with today are all about nurturing our body. Atmosphere mist, resist mist, has black lava beads within. Pre 
breathe deeply in through your nose. Release through your open lips. Lovely. I have collected a few spell elements for us today as a way of summoning, a bringing in support for our physical form, for our body and all of our multiple changes and blessings and shifts and waves that move through our body all the time. We can be distracted by what's out there, right? That butterfly mind that pulls us out there. This is a way of supporting what's within and I have a few ways of summoning our awarenesses to our flesh, to our body. And I want to just get into it and show you. First, I have to give you an update. Do you remember this little bird? With the little air plant growing, I've had this little baby bird for a year and it looks like they want to bloom. There's like this fuzz in the center. I asked if anybody wanted to help me name her and Teresa named her Blair for blue hair. <laughs> Thanks, Teresa. Blair is very pleased. I love to just kind of play with their little fringe and get it out of their eyes. So, you sit on your perch and help us. One of the ways that we can summon our awareness to our flesh is by having different focal points that we can surround ourselves in and this angel quartz reminds me to ask for assistance from all the energies around me in angelic beings, angelic energies. How gorgeous is this angel quartz? I've been working 24 hours a day with this particular point for the last two weeks so beautiful. My son pointed this out to me, that in the light of the candle, I hope you can see that, that the firelight reflects onto the quartz. I hope that's showing. Firelight reflecting into crystals is a fabulous way to bring your attention back to yourself. Another really wonderful way to do that is by having powerful flowers that you're nurturing nearby. So I took a sprig of the living Spanish lavender that I have in my garden. My goodness, how pretty is that? Can you see those little air bubbles on the roots within there? I hope that's showing right now. This Gorgeous lavender has such a calming influence on my mind. Cannot tell you how much I recommend having lavender around. Lavender is so special on so many levels. I mean, first of all, look at their cute little ears. This is Spanish lavender, so it always has the little ears that pop up. So pretty. But when you just give it a little pinch, the essential oils on your fingers just instantly shift and have the ability to gently suggest calming to your brain. Do that throughout the day when you need to really return to your flesh. Put this up here next to Blair. One of the things I love about lavender is it's in the edible flower family. This came from a little getaway with my mom. This is the last of it. It was growing here in California. And 
one of the things I love about it is it's edible. Lavender's edible. So when need be, I will administer a little pinch of lavender. That's a yummy sound, isn't it? And just literally kind of hold it in my mouth. I do this with cardamom pods too. And just have my own little collaboration with the lavender. So grateful for this epic, gorgeous plant. Ooh, that's a nice little sound too. Pardon my little creaks. I have been working in my garden night and day. I'm just pulled outside um, at the end of today's video. I will show you some more flowers that are happening in my garden. Mm. Delicious. So subtle. Such a soft, perfumey, gentle flavor complex. And I have these few little bits of lavender on my hands. And I will dress our candle for this session for anyone that needs that extra softness, that gentleness to come into their body right now. Let me show you. The most simple candle dressing ever, but absolutely so effective, so beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? Yay, lavender. I mean, it's just the best. And again, with the tiny things, like, can you stand it? Tiny spoons and tiny little vials of matches. The real, real big assistance when I'm feeling a certain kind of way, maybe some anxiety or almost like a too busy feeling, is I get out this beautiful calcite, which people have seen in my witchcraft club in a big way. This carried us through the winter. This was my buddy, my partner, as we went through our very first book in Belladonna Book Club, which is a little piece of my witchcraft club. We went through a workbook called The Artist's Way Together, and I've done a couple of videos on that that I'll add to the description of today's video. Oh my goodness, you're going to see a rookie YouTuber. Oh wow, they're a little rough. <laughs> but I think that's kind of dear when I watch someone's older videos. So I talked about them in a series called How to Be an Artist. We went through from January 2022 to the beginning of April 2022, Bewitching the Artist's Way, and we all summoned a really specific crystal as our ally, and this 
big hunk of calcite that I received from one of my kids is just so special. They say that calcite is the student's stone, that it helps tone and focus your mind, and it really helped me so much. And I, I just love that I can palm it, you know? It's a beautiful piece, isn't it? has that heft that helps me as I feel the weight of it remember that I need that weight bearing movement and motion every single day that my bones need the percussion of walking that my body wants to pull and push every single day physically rather than just only mentally Thank you, Calcite. Such a good buddy. Oh my goodness, I bet you I could even reach this. Our next book for Belladonna Book Club is by Victor Villa Senor. And oh wow, it's over there. Bear with me. I'm going to go get it. You can see the, the bones of the operation. I'll be right back. This is our next book. It is The Incredible Book by Victor Villasenor, who I just met. I couldn't believe how lucky I was at the wonderful Boca de Oro with my friend Maritza Rubio. Incredibly, they read from their new book, Maria Maria and Other Stories. It's a book of short stories. And the person that spoke after them was the amazing Leslie Saar, who is a assemblage artist, a collage artist. They're so amazing. I, I, they're into textiles and they know no bounds. I mean, really, they're constantly developing. They're the daughter of one of my favorite artists, Betty Saar. So that's really a special familiar, fr familial. <laughs> That's a hard word, familial connection. And then after Leslie Saar, Victor Villasenor, who wrote the book Reign of Gold, was next. And I read this book at the end of the 90s, early 2000s. And it's a book that meant so much to me after a really difficult experience physically. I came back to life from reading this book. So in our Belladonna Book Club inside of my Witchcraft Club for the Postcard Magic Mail and Sacred Sweetheart Tears, we will be starting Reign of Gold on May 1st. I'm so excited. And I'm glad that got brought up today. Bear with me while I have to scoot across to my altar to get my book and now put on my glasses to read to you. And honestly, my loves, the comments that you've been leaving on the videos have been so encouraging. Please share what's going on for you in these times of great cosmic shifts. It's a wild time. We are currently moving into eclipse season and a mercury retrograde. There can be such a temptation to live in your mind and I'm inviting you to join me in your flesh experience. This is a poem that can really help. Give a shout out in the comments, connect with one another, give each other support. This is an excerpt from the incredible Joy Harjo, our poet laureate. I give you, remember. Remember the earth whose skin you are. Red earth, black earth, yellow earth, white earth, brown earth, we are earth. Remember the plants, trees, animal life, who all have their tribes, their families, their histories too. Talk to them. Listen to them. They are alive poems. Remember the wind 
remember her voice. She knows the origin of this universe. Remember, you are all people and all people are you. Remember, you are this universe and this universe is you. Remember, all is in motion, is growing, is you. Thank you, Joy Harjo. Always remember that magic is your birthright and everything's a spell. This is my spell for remembering to return to your flesh. Talk to you soon.